Robert De Niro made headlines last week when he appeared on Today with me in Savannah to talk about the 15th anniversary of the Tribeca Film Festival. The conversation turned into a broader discussion about the claim that autism is linked to vaccines, a claim that's been widely discredited by the medical community. Well, soon after that interview at air, I sat down with Robert De Niro and Jane Rosenthal, the co-founders of the Tribeca Film Festival. We talked about the future of film, the 40th anniversary of Taxi Driver, and I asked De Niro about how he felt about pulling the anti-vaccine documentary, Vaxxed, from the festival lineup. I still um, have mixed feelings about it. We, I wanted it to be in. We decided to pull it because I didn't want to pull the, the festival in a direction, but it was from filmmakers, uh, according to Jane. And so I said, let me just let it take it out. But I'm not 100% sure that was the right thing to do ultimately. Next time I'll know, hopefully more clearly about uh, when presented with a situation like this. But there is something definitely there right. with Vax, and there is something going on uh, with the CDC, the pharmaceutical in industry. People should read the reviews of the film because there are things in the film that put aside the point that you're making. There are some issues in the film from its consistency, from somebody saying one thing 20 minutes in and then reverses their point of view. Well, there are inaccuracies in any film, any documentary. Uh, and so I don't really, and I'm not defending it in that right. way, I don't, I don't know, but there are accuracies or things that you have to question, and that's my reason for having the film, for quest uh, to question certain things or open it up for discussion, yeah. pros and cons. There's something that is not quite kosher in all of this. That's all I can say. But in a sense, with this controversy, probably more people will see this movie. Yeah, uh, as they should, as they should. Well, it was only supposed to be, it was only going to be in a 120 seat screening. Yeah. Uh, and um, So now people are going to say, well, what's the, what's the deal? And exactly. probably seek it out. They'll seek so, it so out, in a they'll, sense, they'll make their own decisions yeah. about things, they'll do their own research, which I'm doing too. You talking to me? Another topic that's got a lot of people talking is the 40th anniversary well, of Taxi Driver. De Niro earning an Oscar nomination playing the disgruntled Vietnam vet Travis Bickle. When you look back at this, I mean, did, uh, was I in that? <laughs> I think I, I heard you had a you had a small role. Okay. In that movie. Maybe uh, when I see it, I'll come bring it back. We won't have to wait too long. This week, he's reuniting with cast members for a special talk and screening. Looking forward to seeing it again. Yeah, no, I am, and with everybody. I mean, actually, I think I might have looked at it maybe 20 years ago, give or take a few years, when Paul Schrader and I were talking and Marty about doing a, I don't know if you'd call it a sequel, but where Travis Bickle would be later on in his life. And this one we're, gonna... we're not looking back on iconic roles. De Niro is busy embracing the future of storytelling. At the Tribeca Film Festival, everything from virtual reality to interactive projects are showcased in the exhibit Storyscapes. It's called the Tribeca Film Festival, but yet, I mean, now there's virtual reality, there's internet, there's Snapchat, there's, there's all these different mediums. Uh, you know, any thought to changing the name? Because, I mean, it really is more than, than just film now. Without question, it probably should be called the Tribeca Festival. Now you have new storytellers, new creators coming from all these different places, and the festival loves technology as long as you can tell a good story with it. Bob, have you been kind of intrigued by this you know, proliferation of a different way to tell a story? I have, and some of it I don't uh, understand, but I remember when I, when I was, uh, when I saw my, my older kids looking at, uh, at MTV, I thought, geez, what's this? So, <laughs> um, but you know, it, it's all great. The Tribeca Film Festival now going through this weekend will feature a virtual arcade through the 23rd. You get to call Robert De Niro Bob. Yeah. Was our we were all amazed. We were like, you're we still call you Mr. Roker. Him. That's true. What <laughs> I'm impressed like Bobby is you, De Niro you want to invent a time machine to go back 40 years to meet the 40 <laughs> younger <laughs> Thanks a lot, Robert Bob. De Niro. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Not Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.